What's up? What's up? What's up, you guys? It's Skinny Boy Friendly. What's up? Hope you're having a great, God bless, and prosperous day. I don't have the time to do a long introduction. Yes, I got my mask on. I got my gloves on because we're going into surgery, you guys. We have had an infestation on our garden. Oh, I'm sorry. How you guys doing? Welcome to Gardening with Skinny Boy Radio. I love you guys. You are the best. Thank you so much for being here. I love you so much. But we got some serious work to do here. This is my second video I'm doing today, and I didn't plan on making it. But we have some issues going on, okay? Okay. I love you guys. You're the best. If you're new to my channel, click on Gardening with Skinny Boy Randy, where beginners and experts are always welcome. I love you guys. You are the best. Thank you so much for being here. Okay? Okay? I love you. Look, you guys. We're going to make a quick video. If you're new to my channel, don't forget, click thumbs up, thumbs down. Just not two middle fingers. Okay? Okay? We can do without that. Thank you guys. Share the video. Leave a comment. All that good stuff. I just tried to get the preliminaries over before we get into this video. Because this is a serious video, you guys. And I know a lot of people out here have the same problem. A lot of people out here have the same problem. The tomato hornworm. Not just tomato hornworm. Just hornworm, period. That big old green worm. I just took one out of my garden. I came home from work. And let me show you the damage that they had done. Okay? Okay! So, look. Look at this plant right here, right? It was full of leaves when I left to go to work. Look at that. See? See how they go down? And he in there because I saw him earlier. I saw him earlier. And look, this is the poop you're looking for. Their poop. Their poop looks like little hand grenades. I'm going to try to get it in the middle of my hand. There we go. You see that? It looks like a little hand grenade. That's that worm poop. That's how big they get and that's how much they're eating up all of your plants and everything. Okay? Okay? You guys, we are not going to have that. We ain't got no money to be spending on these worms. We ain't got no money. But I saw, I, I took one off and I gave it to the chickens. And now I'm, I'm about to go in here and dissect my garden. I'm about to go in here and dissect the raised bed. Okay? So I'm just going to put you right here. We're gonna dissect this, you guys. Like I told you, I put it together so I can get into it when I need to. Just like this. Very easy. Because today, we going into surgery. They're not gonna eat all our stuff. Because the hornworms will eat your tomatoes, they'll eat your peppers, they'll eat your eggplants, they'll eat everything if you let them. Okay, so, we're gonna go um, unwrap the wrapping. I'm still here, you guys. I'm just working. I'm sorry. I may not have to unwrap everything. I just may need to get down in here. And I want you guys down in here with me. I'm down here. Okay? So, what you need to do, you got these green hornworms. They will eat you out of a house and a home. Out of a garden and a home. They will eat everything. They're big, green, and they have these little spines on them. I'm going to show you one because I know he's in here. Because I saw him earlier before I went to the post office to mail off your t-shirts. Okay, okay. If you haven't ordered your t-shirt, don't forget to order your Skinny Boy Randy Gardening t-shirt. Okay, come on. All right, you guys. So what we're going to do, we're going to literally go through all of our plants. We have to. And let me get something to put the findings on because I know they're in there. And you have to take your time, you guys. I wish I had a camera that I could sit it down even further but that's okay we're gonna work together all right so we're gonna start from the bottom and what I'm going to do also is clean out some of the raised beds some things that have grown up and grown out and done their own thing now you have to look at your tomato plant from the rooter to the tutor okay okay you have to look at it from the beginning to let me put my face mask on and uh, because the worm looks just like the tomato leaf. So let's go down. Starting from the rooter. The rooter being the top and the tutor is the bottom. So let's go just go down and see what we can find, okay? See, they've been eating. You see? They've eaten. So we're just going to take our time and go down. We're going to keep 
taking our time we're gonna go down this whole entire plant you guys this is one of our big boy tomatoes ah, and it has two sides to it look 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 what the hornworm did now it was on a leaf when I left to go to the post office I don't know where it's at but I know it's in here I know it's in here and we're gonna find it because he's crawled his way probably all the way back down. Oh, he's trying to eat some of our big boy. Ah, look you guys. One of our big boy tomatoes. They kind of got to it. We have some different things going on. But we have a big boy tomato. All is not lost. Okay, okay. So let's go and see what else. Because you can take your tomatoes and let them ripen inside. And since these are big boys, and see they're already nice size, we can pluck them and let them ripen in the house. Here's another one. Look at look look what they've done. Look. Within a matter of a day or two. So you have to go down. Look, all right, it went. It was on one of these leaves, you guys. I'm gonna find it. Because they are so green and they look so much like the leaves that you will miss it. Now during the sun in the daytime, they run to the bottom to get shade. And then in the evening they come up to get your leaves. So let's go ahead and prune some of this plant as well. We're just going to take some of these bottom leaves off. You see all these? Yeah, we're gonna take. Yeah, we're gonna have to find these babies because they will get into your garden. They probably, he might have jumped over to something else. Okay. I'm gonna pull this whole branch off here. Yeah, because this was a sucker that turned into a branch. You see these little things on there? Okay. I'm going to get some of these extras out. Because we want all of our food, you guys. We want all of it. And like I said, I ran to the post office. And you guys, when you start having pest control problems, pick your stuff. Pick your stuff early. And like, especially tomatoes, you can let them ripen in the window. So let me get some of this stuff from around this plant. Yeah, sometimes you have to come in and clean your, uh, clean your garden up, you guys. Take these bottom leaves off of this tomato. So we don't have to worry about things crawling up from the bottom. See? We just cleared that off. Let's take all the stuff from the bottom. Yeah, you guys, this is an unexpected video. And I'm still looking for those worms, those home worms, because they're in here and I saw. And like I look, he, he's already gotten to this one. She, he, whatever. It's got, oh, there we go. I see him. Jumping from plant to plant to plant, you guys. Look. Right there. You see him? Right here. And it's so ooky gooky. And I'm not used to doing this. Look. These must be so good. That it wanted to get on here. Some just fell on my boot. Oh. I thought something fell y'all. <laughs> and it did. Look. And you see why they call it the horn worm? There's a horn right here. Can y'all see my finger? Okay. You see that? There's a horn right at the, the tip of this horn worm. You see it? A red horn. Look how big it is. And it blends right in with the tomatoes. But that's Mother Nature's way. Can y'all see the horn worm right here? See him moving? See? Look. See? And he'll just stick right onto your stuff. Isn't that ooky gooky? Ooh! I don't fool with this stuff, y'all. Okay, okay. <laughs> 
But hey, it's a part of gardening and you have to. So we're going to get that one off. Yeah, you guys, sometimes you have to go through your plants and get them together. Look. And there's that one. Y'all, we're not doing a pretty video today. We're doing a productive video today. We're getting rid of these hornworms. Look. They're trying to eat up our stuff. Oh, he's trying to stick me with his horn, I guess. Oh, yeah. Oh, that horn must be a stinger. Look. You in my stuff and you want to mess with me. Okay, okay. Can y'all see it? Look at that horn. See it? Y'all see this? This was on my tomatoes when I came home today. Yeah, and they can do major damage. So we're going through and we're inspecting. I think I went down every leaf on this one because I found that hornworm on another plant. Look for where your plants, I'm sorry. Look for where your plants are, are being ate up. See this uh, at the top being ate up? So that means he was over here and you have to go through every leaf, you guys. You may have to make some sacrifices, get some things that you planted just to see how your raised bed would do. Like some of these beans, I just planted some of these for demonstration purposes for you guys. Okay, okay. So let's go in here and clean our raised bed out because the hornworms have found us. They found us, you guys, they found us. We were hiding so good. But the hornworms can get through this netting. Now I'm looking over there. I don't see anything ate up over there. I think they started over here. But we're going to go check anyway. Uh oh. I see um, some ate something over here. All right. So we're going to have to probably find another one, y'all, because they are so incognito. You have to go through your plants, y'all. This is a part of the gardening. This is real gardening. Real gardening, y'all. And there's something over here because they ate some. And we're going to find them. We're going to find them. Look, I don't want to destroy our corn. I don't want to mess up our corn. Look at our corn, you guys. Our corn is doing great. Okay, so start at the top of your leaf and work your way down. Looking for that fat green bug that's eating everything or trying to eat everything. And we're not going to let that happen. And you better not be up here messing with my cherry tomatoes. Yeah, they've been over here too, y'all. They've been over here too. Eggplants trying to come up. I don't want them to mess up my eggplants. Oh, yeah, they're over here eating my cherry. Oh, 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 oh. Take everything from the bottom. Because in my opinion, they work their way from the bottom up. And some of my cherry tomatoes were, are starting to turn red. And I don't want these bad boys to eat them up. So we have to go through and find them. And they move on really fast. Yeah, you guys, take those leaves off the bottom sometimes of your tomatoes. Oh, oh yeah, they've been over here having a field day. I have to get some stuff out, y'all. Because they love to hide. So clear some of your things out. I have more beans over on the other side of my garden. So some of these things I'm going to have to clean up. Because I don't want them to find my peppers. Yeah. And look at our beautiful flowers coming up, y'all.
and it may have been that one big one making its way all through the garden because I'm looking and looking I'm looking y'all and these big eyes ain't here for nothing let me see I'm gonna go ahead and pull out pepper before they eat her up but we're not gonna let them get to it because I have something. You guys take some of the leaves off your tomatoes. They're huge. Some of them are just sucking up energy. Just um, pull them off the bottom. Yeah. So your plant can breathe. <clears throat> Stick this back down there a little bit. No, uh, let's make sure we don't have any on these leaves. Check your leaves from the bottom to the top, you guys. I'm telling you, they will hide from you. And they can blend in so well. And I don't have the fluorescent light. Some people say, put the fluorescent light. You can see them at night. I ain't got no money for no fluorescent light. I ain't got no money. I play my light bill. That's what I do. I ain't got no fluorescent. That might run my light bill up. Sky high. Look at all these cherry tomatoes over here, you guys. I wish I was up closer, but yeah. They look so beautiful. Let's just take this branch because we don't want to take a chance. We're going to take this batch right here. Oh, Lord. Whole bunch of them, y'all. And you know you can eat cherry tomatoes at whatever size you like. You can pick them when they're green and then just let them ripen in your window, anywhere. Oh yeah, they just falling out of my pocket. Get to them before the hornworm get to them. Okay, let's look. We're still inspecting y'all. Cause those things ain't no joke. They will eat your whole garden up. And I'm sweating like a a chicken hog out here. And I don't even know if a chicken hog sweat. But that's how I'm sweating. Trying to find these green hornworms that's trying to eat up everything. Okay, I think we got those from over there. And our little worm done jumped off probably. There you go. There you go. Trying to hide and stuff. Mm-hmm. That's how smart they is, y'all. Look, he jumped off the daggone uh, little thing I had him on. Look. Isn't that ooky-gooky? Look. And all he wants to do is eat your stuff. See? See? I ain't got the lie, Corey. I ain't got the lie. Look at that. And they just munch and munch and eat and eat and eat. Okay, so what I'm going to do to my guard, I'm going to use my 7 Duster, which works for me every year. I've never proclaimed to not use a uh, product. Um, I know some people uh, say this is not organic, but I've never proclaimed to be totally organic. Okay, okay. And this works great. And it's a seven duster. And you sprinkle it over everything. It doesn't harm your fruit, your vegetables. It doesn't harm anything. I should have done this earlier when my friend told me to do it. But I forgot. And I didn't do it. So I'm going to uh, tie my uh, elastic around this particular one. But I can prop it up for now. Just sprinkle all over your garden. All over. 
Yeah, it might not look pretty because it has a white powder on it, but it's okay. It's it, it doesn't hurt anything whatsoever. But what it does do is keep the hornworms and everything else out. As far as pests, it kills up to 65 insects and bugs, beetles, all kinds of stuff. So you see that? Now when it rains, it's gonna rinse it off. That's the way you wanna do it when it's dry and let it sit. The corn has been doing good, but I don't wanna take no chances with my corn. If they eat my corn up, we're gonna have a problem. I'm going to jail. I'm going to jail, y'all. Yeah, okay, okay, I love you guys, you're the best. But yeah, you guys, this is what I use to treat my plants. Sometimes you need to go ahead and pick your plants before they get eaten up like that. By the big old hornworm right here who's making a poop. Looks like a bomb. But yeah. So we're going to give back some other nature. And we're going to give this to the chickens. Hey, chick, chick, chicks. And they know when I'm coming. These are my neighbor's chickens. You see them? Here you go. They love it. Yeah. Because they was going to eat up everything, you guys. I love you. Like I said, this is an unexpected video. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new to my channel, welcome to Gardening with Skinny Boy Randy. Click the like and subscribe button, okay? Okay? We can't let those folks eat up our food because we ain't got no money. Ain't got no money. I love you. Remember, live, love, laugh. Grow stuff and eat it. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for being here.